Hey guys, so I have absolutely no makeup on today, so excuse my appearance. Alright, so this video, I was doing some research on refined, unrefined, and castor oil that is like mixed. Natural castor oil is actually pale yellow when cold pressed. Cold pressing means there is no heat involved. Castor beans are just squeezed at high pressure to extract when pressed out of the seed. The advantage of cold pressing is that you do not degrade any of the oil using heat. The clear castor oil that you find in some shops is a result of filtering this natural yellow crude castor oil to further lower the iodine content which makes it yellow. The higher the purity of the castor oil, the lighter the color will be. If you look down in the description box, there will be a reference as to where I got this bit of information from. Do note that cold pressing is not the only technique used to extract oil though. Industrially, some chemical solvents can be used and the advantage of that is that it is less time consuming. Disadvantage is that with more people looking for more natural products, the idea that a chemical was used to produce that oil is not that attractive. Black castor oil. Many people believe that Jamaican black castor oil is more natural and that the black color is related to it being less processed. Wrong. <laughs> The process of getting dark color involves adding ash from roasted castor beans into the oil. The description from the Sunny Isle Jamaican Black Castor Oil is, Our organic seeds are roasted and grounded by a manual grinder and then crushed beans are boiled to extract the 100% pure dark brown organic oil. Compared to other brands, it is the darkest Jamaican black castor oil because we roast our beans longer, which produces more ash content in our oil than any other oil in the market, end quote. Ash is an impurity because it is an addition to the oil rather than pure oil. Hollywood Beauty Castor Oil Hair Treatment with Mink Oil Highly Enriched, Moisturizing, Healing, Strengthening, and Conditioning Use daily to condition, moisturize, and restore natural sheen to your hair and scalp. Helps prevent split ends and breakage. Excellent conditioner for natural, pressed, relaxed, or color-treated hair. It's recommended as a conditioner for baby's hair and skin. Apply daily to wet or dry scalp to help keep hair healthy and well-conditioned. Ingredients. Petrolatum, castor oil, jojoba oil, mineral oil, safflower oil, lanolin, cocoa butter, aloe vera extract, mink oil, vitamin E, fragrance, and propyl paraben. This is not pure castor oil. So this is why a majority of you young ladies are breaking out if this touches anything other than your hair. Um, this one right here, which is the Jamaican black castor oil. And uh, to give you an idea of one that is cold pressed, you have uh, De La Cruz, De La Cruz um, castor oil. Um, there's another one that's floating around, which is the castor oil by uh, Hollywood of Beauty. There's actually two. Um, the one that I have that's in the jar, I don't know exactly where I placed that one, but um, that one itself, uh, it is good. I've heard people use it and it worked perfectly fine for them. Um, I used to use it on my daughter's hair like way back when and I stopped. I don't know what, exactly why I stopped, but I get bored of things easily so I just leave it alone. Um, <clears throat> that one is uh mixed with mink oil 
but it also has mineral oil and a whole bunch of other extra stuff that were in the ingredients that I like I didn't like for me if I'm gonna buy castor oil I want it to be the actual like oil itself not you know like not how would I say um not mixed in with anything else so that castor oil it has a mixture of stuff and then even the the castor oil you know like how they have the tea tree oil and all those other oils yeah no mm -mm. nope <laughs> the that one is also mixed the uh, the castor oil that they have that are in that little clear bottle that's oil or whatever the case is that's mixed with other stuff like it's not pure castor oil it's castor oil and then some like a lot of hollywood of, uh, of beauty i think that's what it's called the beauty of hollywood hollywood of beauty whatever a lot of their stuff is mixed with something else so you're not getting like the the pure true you know shebang so like with um so with that being said the castor oil the one that comes in that little green um the green jar as well as the castor oil that comes with the green top or whatever the case is that's a, a oil by hollywood of beauty read the ingredients there's mineral oil in it. it i don't know whether or not some some of you guys are into the whole no mineral oil no um no parabens no you know stuff along those lines and that castor oil actually has mineral oil in it and same thing with the um the little gel form so that means that those actually just coat the hair it doesn't penetrate the hair this castor oil um which is the clear one you can get it in like different name brands or whatever the case is this one um I just want to finish and I've had this for forever like I've let I've had this since October I've used it in a deep condition I've used it in my moisture mix I've used it damn near everywhere and I'm only up to here like I'm not even halfway done with it yet like castor oil lasts you a long time if you only use a little bit uh, I like to dilute it and mix it with other oils which they say is best anyways is to mix it with other oils so that you can actually have it penetrate your hair as opposed to have it sit and clog your pores or clog your um your hair shafts um but yeah like i i was sitting down and it hit me that like there's so many different types of castor oil and I wanted to see like research on it so um, I'm going to leave uh, down below the ingredients that are in the Hollywood of Beauty both of their castor oils as well as um, I'm going to leave where you can find black castor oil and the regular castor oil um, because I also saw um, I also saw people saying that they don't know exactly where to purchase them. Um, oh, also, uh, another thing. Um, the castor oil, the one that's in the jar, the reason, in my opinion, the reason why it's making a lot of people break out, like, if you get that castor oil anywhere on you, you will start to break out. Like, legit. You will start to break out. Whereas, this castor oil you don't because castor oil when you use it on your face or whatever the case is when you use a little bit on your face um it's actually supposed to help with the moisture and lock in the moisture while the other castor oil is it has parabens in it it has things that are not good for you in it like it has mink oil i didn't even know what mink oil was until i saw it on the thing and then i had to research it um but yeah that's neither here nor there but that castor oil has been very closely like linked to a lot of people breaking out a lot of uh breakouts like me myself uh growing up my mother did use it on me and i didn't realize that like i didn't have acne anywhere else on my face like even right now i don't really have any acne but i do have a lot of acne starring which I am still trying to figure out how to fix that but that's a video for another time um, and basically they um, it's supposed to 
help your, you know, your skin. The other castor oil is blocking the pores and it's clogging you up. That's why they tell you to always use a little bit of that castor oil because a little bit literally goes a long way. Now, if you're just going to place it in your hair and then wash it out, then go ahead by all means, you know, handle your business. But if you're going to like actually walk around and you want to grease your scalp, you're clogging your scalp. <laughs> like a lot of people, what they normally do is, is they take it, they use it as a deep condition, and then they um, they wash it out of their hair. Um, and I'm trying to actually uh, find that other one to see if I can like put a picture someplace in this video, or I'll just steal one from online and give them their credit. But yeah. This video is long enough. I just wanted to give you guys what I found, what, you know, things I put together. And this should be, this video should be coming out at the same time that my other video about castor oil is coming out. Hopefully. Well, that's all the time I have for you guys. Bye.